Hi everyone, so we're uh, back in the workshop and um, continuing on with the uh, restoration of the uh, Unimat SL. Um, so what I've done in the um, just just over the last few days is uh, remove most of the paint um, from the items and give them um, a basic uh, clean up. So I'll just talk you through what I, what I've been what I've done. So uh, if we have a look at the main bed. Or the main, main, main casting. Let me just. Uh, sorry, I have to just keep checking your own vision. And so, actually, pretty much all the paints come off here, and um, I didn't even have to use any paint stripper. Uh, what I, what I was doing was I um, I initially gave it a bit of a, a spray over with WD, and the paint was so flaky that I managed to be able to just to. Uh, scrape it off and to use the um what i what i've got is an old um hacksaw blade uh which is uh i've ground the teeth off and um just got a, a flat on the end there's no no particular point it's just um uh just the same width as an hacksaw blade but it's it's very um obviously very flexible so when you when i was just rubbing uh scraping off the paint on here it 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 was it's really good because you, you tend not to dig in um, and then cause any unnecessary sort of marking on the on the um, on the material so basically all I did was I went through all around all around here with the scraper and just spraying on WD and and it actually came out really well um, I'm not sure this uh, worked for everyone but it, it was particularly effective on this one um if i was going to use paint stripper i think i would i've not used it so it's not from experience but it's only through watching other channels um that the uh, the citrus um, um stripper seemed to be uh of good seems to work very well so and i think i think i would go with that um the next uh thing which was i thought i, I would talk to you about so we've got what is effectively the headstock and we've got the the nameplate on there and that's held on let me see if I can find them uh, there we go I don't even know if you'll be able to see them two really small um, I'm not sure what they're called sort of spiral pins that go that go into the hole holes here so what I actually did to remove this was I was I was very conscious of the fact of uh, it's easy to take off and you can pull the um, and break the uh, the badge but I didn't want to do that so I, again using my um, wonderful hacksaw blade I managed to be able to just get it underneath and just to be able to create a slight bit of tension there then I sprayed quite a lot of WD-40 uh, under, under it and just uh, left it overnight and then I slowly just just generally moved it around applying um, a bit of you know a very gentle pressure just agitating it really and and they popped out and um, as you can see I haven't I haven't damaged the the, uh, the nameplate in any way so I was really um, very pleased about that so that was that one again I just you followed the same process with the uh, the headstock just going around with with my little hacksaw um, blade scraper and removed all, all the part all the all the paint um, again tail stock exactly the same same process uh, haven't done the underneath actually um, so that was that was all and this is all made from the Zermac um, material so um, and it is quite e you can dig into it quite easily so it's um, it really is worth um, not trying to what I'm trying to say to taking your time and not not causing big gouges that you've got to subsequently try and um, tidy up you know try and repair so here we've got uh, we, um, this component so this is where your tool post fits onto it's um, there isn't really a compound slide but um, 
So there your, your waves go through. It goes through there if you remember when we disassembled it. So that will go back and forward there. So this is made of steel and this was uh, this was quite a bagger to um, to get the paint off uh, and probably would have benefited from paint stripper. So um, all I did was I used my wonderful new um, um, Eclipse scraper and, and just again with some WD just managed to loosen the paint off and then along with the, um, the hacksaw I did. And then um, I just got some um, uh, Scotch Scotch Bright, and then just just check them up and see, you can see it. Just slowly worked on all the sides, and actually it came out came out really nice. Um, so that was quite good. So that's that actually appears to be the only true steel part. So that was okay. So all these bits were relatively um, easy to do, and I did the majority of it in a day. I. With, with the Scotch Bright, there's different grades, and this is the um, the ultra fine stuff. Um, and what I tend to do is, if I use the piece, I um, I keep the sort of semi worn out bits because they seem to uh, to do slightly less damage. And all I did, I, I've just get, gone very carefully over the um, what are effectively the ways, and just removed any. Um, uh, any muck on there and they're, and they're good but I'm going to polish those a bit later on uh, in, in the process but at the moment just wanted to get you know this is like the first sort of uh, clean of the component parts um, the so this is the plate that the um, that this bit goes around the spindle and then you bolt your your electric motor to this part here so what I've done here is just again another bit of a clean round sort of as I say there's a still still room for improvement but I took the opportunity because I'm a little bit crazy of I filed off all the cast marks well not all of them but the majority of them so it's starting to look um, a, a little bit nicer now arguably there's no point to do it uh, you might be able to see still the remnants and I'm not going crazy on it. I just wanted to get the big the big ones off because they just seem to be an area where um, dirt and crap can um, sort of accumulate and and it, you know, after going to the effort of trying to uh, put this um, back into service in a good good condition I thought it would be better to to do that so um, just just pop it in the vice and just do some um, basic filing uh, I'm going to try and improve the finish on this and what I'll do in the following one, the following video I'll show you because I, I seem to have found a way to although once you start cleaning all this up it starts to become a bit brighter really you want it to try and match the same and I've seem to have found a way that um, seems to dumb it down a little bit so it's not too too shiny um, and just looks more like uh, like it would have out of the factory um, I'm not trying to bling my lathe. Uh, what have we got here? So the main pulley, again, just WD and a bit of scotch Bright. Very simple. Um, you know, the, the goal here is to, to have it clean, to be able to see whether I've got any um, actual um, errors that need fixing uh, or, or parts replacing. So that's uh, that, that was um, pretty easy to do. Um, what we got here? Let's have a look. So, hand wheels again, Scotch Bright and uh, WD. Just, just, uh, just this super fine stuff. It is pretty. Um, does doesn't hurt too much. Uh, the uh, this is the the um, hand wheel for the uh, and with the it's got the automatic feed. Um, uh, gear on here so um, just just the same cleaned up um, I went through inch each uh, I don't know what you call it gear tooth and just cleaned out the mark there so that was pretty simple we've got the main pulley uh, or a one of the pulleys so that fits that fits in there so I've gone through there I can't decide whether to change the bearings on here 
because it's so simple to actually do it's just basically a slide in and um, tighten up I may I may try and source them and do them now but if, if I don't it's um, as I say a fairly simple process to to do uh, what have we got here so this, this is effectively our tool holder or our tool post I suppose you might call it so what I've done here is this is this was black um, so I've just popped it in the voice and just gone round and took off all the uh, any birds and everything which have accumulated over the uh, 70 odd years or 50 to 70 years worth of use this this load's had um, obviously it's taken the blacken off I want to do a little bit more on this back here because there's a someone scraped to some initials in or something so that'd be nice to get rid of that and I will black that again um, I'm not well I'll, yeah I might show it I'm not sure there's any real value there's hundreds of videos on black and black and stuff but it, it's a lot nicer um, and I've got a tap which I'll show you in the next video I'll run through just running through um, a tap just to clean up the threads so what else have we got oh, we've got another another pulley or oh, another hand wheel sorry all the threads the threaded parts um, so let me have a quick quick drink thank you um, so I just cleaned these up a little bit with um, just the same process WD and um, and Scotch Bright uh, just just effectively you I am a bit murder for this you just put your put your thumbnail thumbnail in in the thread just turn it and it does sort of clean it out a bit and you get it's interesting on these really sort of relatively fine threads you do get to start to feel whether there's any um, damage to the thread because you know your fingers are obviously quite sensitive so you're getting a bit a, a nice a nice indication um, that, oh, that there's something there that needs needs dressing so I, I cleaned uh, all the uh, so this one's the one for the um, and I don't know no this this is the one for the tail stock so that goes in in there and that's to advance and uh, retract the tail stock so all I've done uh, again just given this a very bright this this is a bit this isn't the best um, condition to be truthful but uh, I've just taken off any burrs um, but it, it is probably a little bit past its cell uh, date but anyway, it's better than when I started, so that's a that's a goal on all the stuff. So that's the thread for the tail stock. This is effectively for um, the cross slide. Um, again, just same process. Just gave it a bit of a clean up. And here's your main, uh, what effectively is your lead screw. Um, and that and that, all actually all the threads do seem remarkably good. So I'm I'm very pleased with that. What else have we got here to show you? Um, so we've got the two, the two, I don't know whether you call them a ways, but anyway, the two bars that slide, um, the cross side slides across on. Let me just check you can see. Yep, so we've got the two, these, uh, I suppose they are ways. Um, so same process. Just a, a little clean up, um, check for any birds and every, everything, anything. Now these were, I did, if you've watched the other videos on the disassembling, you can see I did do some pre-cleaning on these because the concern is as you go through through these, you don't want to be uh, damaging those surfaces. Um, so they weren't too bad. So there, effect, that's effectively all the uh, component parts that I've been um, I've been working on. Um, so what's next? Well, I'm going to I've got some degreaser, um, so I'm going to degrease everything and just give it a final clean up. Um, 
just I'm going to try and just improve on the um, the finish of this. I, I don't really think it needs much doing to it. I'm quite I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it because it is a sort of a rough casting, and so I'm not trying to make it too crazy. Yeah, degrease everything and just have a final look. Look over it, remove any additional birds that I've missed, and I'll bring you back next time uh, and just show you that. And then, um, then I'm going to do the painting, so uh, and that'll be in a subsequent video. Um, so, so this is just part one of the um, cleaning up and inspection. Uh, part two, I'll probably be more just a brief discussion on um, anything I found during the the degreasing process, I suppose one would call it. Um, and then we're then. Um, concentrate on an inspection and is there anything that looks terrible that I've got to fix and, and early indications are that it's pretty good so we are there and then uh, the video after that we're just concentrating on, on, on painting these parts and then we can get back to um, trying to start to rebuild it and we'll look at um, so you may may be thinking well I haven't got the spindle here I'm going to the spindle and and the electric motor. They sort of can we can build all this up and have pretty much everything running before we get to that. So we will look at those at the um, right at the end. Um, uh, uh, yeah. So I just want to try and start to move this because then hopefully some of this will be of use if you're just changing up or doing some maintenance on a component part. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, about it for today's video. So uh, as always, uh, stay happy, strong and healthy and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.